Space images are visually stunning, whether it's planets, galaxies, or even just historical NASA photographs. So in this video, I break down three resources that you can use for your art project. And these are fully free and legal, even for commercial use. Let's go exploring. So it's no secret there's a ton of photographs online uh, for, that you know, relate to NASA and space and exploration. And so there's really two main ones that I use because they're just easy to look at. Now the first one's called NASA on the Commons. And what the Commons means is that everything here is public domain. So I'm just going to click on a uh, photograph here, just this one here. Endeavor launches into the night. I'll just open that up into a new window. And we can see here it's going to give me a pretty high quality scan. It just takes a second to load in. But it, I can click the actual photograph. See how it has a little magnifying glass on it? And when I click to that, it'll zoom in. And it actually zooms in quite a bit. So that's really nice, high quality photograph. And as I scroll down underneath it, you can see here it says no known copyright restrictions. To download the photographs, really simple. On the right hand side, you just click the little down arrow button. Now I'm going to go back to the photo stream. And there's also albums because this is just, this goes on forever. Like there's just thousands and thousands of photographs here. And so if you want to get a little more organized, you can click the albums button and that will at least group things into albums. Now there's a lot of vintage -y stuff here with NASA, which I absolutely love. Some albums only have a couple photographs in it, maybe two or three or four, but some have a couple hundred photographs, which is nice as well. I'm just going to click on this lunar module one. I'll open that up. And this has 35 photos. If you want to download the whole album, right at the top, there's an option to download the whole album as well. You just click that download button. You can also forward it as well. As I scroll through, you can see there's lots of variety. So these are really nice because you can click on any individual photograph. And I'll just use this one here. This is the one pretty famous photograph of the astronaut jumping. It just takes a second to load in because the quality of the photograph is so high. There we go. I'll just click on it and click on it again. Really zooms in. And then down at the bottom, it says no known copyright restrictions. You can download that photograph. It's got a nice little sort of description here as well. So that's my first one that I use is called NASA on the Commons. This is all public domain. The second one that I use, which is not public domain, but if you're using it for non-commercial purposes, maybe you've got a presentation or you know, you've got a personal website or something, this is what I use. This is NASA HQ photos. So this is more like the government agency of NASA. And so there's a lot of different albums here. And what I really like about this is you get, there's just such a huge variety with people and places and technology. So this is a really nice uh, option as well. Now there's a lot of like staff stuff in here, like a book event. I mean, this is not the most exciting thing in the world, but I'm just going to jump to like page seven, for example, there's just pages and pages and you get a lot of museum photographs and then here's stuff like Endeavor. So I'm just going to open up this website here with Endeavor. And this is the Flickr album. You can download the entire album if you want. And then I'm just going to click on this first one, Endeavor lands at LAX. Boy, that'd be pretty cool to see. And so here you can see underneath, same deal. You can click on the photograph, make it really high res, which is nice, like really high detailed. And then underneath it says, some rights reserved. This little money sign is crossed out. Basically that means you can't use this photograph for commercial purposes, but you could certainly use it for educational purposes and personal projects as well. So again, a really nice high quality photograph. A common question I get is, can you use non-commercial photographs for like putting it up in your house? And the answer would be absolutely because you're not selling it. You're just making a personal photograph for your own home. So that's a great resource as well. This is both Flickr albums, but the first one's the commons. The second one is for non-commercial use. The second one is NASA HQ photos. The second resource that I really like is called Unsplash. Unsplash is basically like stock images and they're public domain. They're freely usable. It says right on their front page, freely usable images. And you can just type in any sort of search term. What I like is typing in, I just typed in space and this gave me 10,000 photographs and it just goes on and on. So these are great because they're very artistic 
and they're really like they're not just NASA photos like nothing against NASA but it's nice to get a bit of variety so these just go on like forever now there's a lot of NASA photos in here but there's also a lot of just sort of stock photography as well so like this one here I'm just going to click on this one with the moon this is a grayscale image of the moon and it was taken looks like it was taken in Australia and I'll click on the plus button again to zoom it in you can see it's a pretty nice high quality image so if you need just you know stock photos this is a great way to do it now the actual artist is listed up here and he's actually available for hire so if you really like something this artist did you could always reach out to them directly as well unsplash is like a bit of a networking site as well you don't have to but it's a nice option and then to download it over on the right hand side there's a download button and you can just click on the size of the image you would like the original size is 9972 by 9972 that's a huge image like if you're using that for you know a poster or something or maybe you're making a you know commercial like a t-shirt or a poster or an art print this is a great option because it's clean easy to download and it's really really high resolution okay the third one's a bit tough to find because it's moved around a little bit so i'm going to type in nasa and then jpl and that stands for jet propulsion laboratory so jpl is like nasa's sort of cool little brother so there's a really nice website here for the jet propulsion laboratory and there's galleries there's news there's all sorts of stuff on here when you go down to exploring the universe they've got different missions this is just packed full of information now there's a really famous set of posters that you can use and so it's in here this gallery so i'm right down at the bottom of the website and it's under galleries and there's visions of the future so i'm going to click on that visions of the future and this gives you these really nice high quality posters that you can use they're like they're in the style of like the old propaganda posters like for world war ii and so you can just use these for anything these are public domain i'm just going to click on this mars one it's really cool and when i click on the mars one gives you lots of different things frequently asked questions can i get copies the images are free for you to print is it okay for me to print them out myself and display them yes so here's just a nice picture of them working on stuff this was like a fun project this seems like a fun place to work so there's a bunch of different posters these are public domain as well i'm just going to click on this full image details here and you can just download the jp the jpg file the jpeg file and that gives you a really high quality now you've probably seen these around you could throw this on a t-shirt you could you can change it if you wanted to change the text or you can use the illustration for whatever you want but it's a really nice high quality image so i hope you found that helpful there's three options here for you really four i guess if you consider that nasa's got you know both non-commercial division and commercial division and yeah if you liked what you heard today if you liked what you saw today please do consider subscribing like the video and thank you so much for watching